Hello everyone. Welcome in my uh, piano studio. My name is Greg Niemczuk and I'm a Polish concert pianist and also a piano professor at the Music University in the south of Poland. Um, today I have for you, especially for uh, piano players, uh, probably the most important piano lesson about memorizing. Uh, I finally decided to make this video that many of you were asking me to do for many months, I, I would say. Um, and this video uh, is probably the most important that I have ever done. Because what I'm going to do now with you together is I am going to memorize and show you how I am doing with explanation, uh, a piece of music that I have never played and I even have never listened to. So the level of uh, not knowing the piece is the highest possible. Why am I doing this video? For many reasons. First of all, I must tell you that when I was at school and when I was even at the university, I had later very good teachers but they never told me how to memorize so everything was automatic at first then i had a lot of memory slips then i couldn't really play for memory and i had to find myself my own way um, based on my 15 or more years experience of my piano career i can tell you that now uh, i myself mastered um, a way of memorizing that is trustworthy for me, that always works and that gives me a self-confidence when I play and that I am never afraid that I forget something on stage. Um, this, of course, is my own subjective way. Um, it works for me, but I also give it to my students and those who listen to me, uh, they really also prove that it works for them as well. But for this special thing, you need to be very patient. So that's why, unfortunately, not all of my students are following my advices. But finally, I decided to make this video also uh, to save, in a way, let's say, to save the time during lessons. Uh, because instead of teaching every student how to do it with him, I can just send him to this video and tell him please watch this video and then if you have questions just come to me. Anyway, um, I think uh, you all deserve to have a very um, easy explanation of how memory works and how the memory of the pianist works and um, what is the easiest and the fastest way in my opinion to memorize the piece or at any rate, how I am doing. Okay, I finished talking and now we start uh, learning. I show you exactly how I approach a new piece of music. Well, the new piece of music that uh, I approach, usually, of course, I'm listening to the recording, some, uh, a few recordings. Now I didn't listen to the recording, especially because this is even more difficult to do, uh, that I don't really know how it sounds. What do I have for you? Jao Sibelius, the Finnish composer with the, the score that I found in my room. Piano Sonata in F major, opus 12. Written in 19, uh, sorry, in 1893. I've chose this piece because, as I said, I never played it. I don't know it. And now, together with you, I will try to memorize. I don't know how much I will memorize, but I will show you and tell you how I do it. You, the best way for you to learn, in my opinion, is to print out the score uh, and follow me. Try to do the same things and see if it works for you or not. So go to imslp.org and then print out the Sonata in F major, Opus 12 by Sibelius and go back to watch this video uh, from this point. And now we are officially on our way to memorize. So the first general advice is that 
I memorize each hand separately. Maybe it's new for you, maybe it's not new for you, uh, but I do it, I've been doing this for 16, 17, 16 years or so, and this is for me the best way to feel safe when each hand can play uh, its own uh, part. This is very important um, for our brain and also it is very important when we want to relearn a piece after a few years of not playing it. Uh, I'm telling you from my own experience. If I know the piece like that, even if I don't play it for a few years, um, and even if, it, if it's a very complex piece, like piano, like Chopin Piano Sonata, for example, it takes me only about a week or a few days to get back to how it was this few years before. Uh, I promise. Um, because I also do it hand separately. To control one hand at a time is much easier for the brain. So when I memorize, I focus on mostly on memorizing. This is my goal, this is what I'm doing, and how I start, actually that's how I start to uh, learn the new piece. I immediately memorize and then I practice from memory. I don't practice from the score. Um, of course, this is why, it, 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 this is because I prepare pieces to play them in public. Um, so that's the main reason. Uh, but I'm sure you are here to know how to memorize, so that's why I'm doing. I'm telling you the professional way, my way. Okay, so let's start um, from the right hand. And now, at first, I have to um, see how long phrase I can memorize in one go. So. Let's say I play for I play for myself now just to see how it sounds and what is this. Okay, this is enough. The, um, until here uh, we have. Um, the, the, the first phrase, let's say, yes, and this phrase, I already, I, I in, in, in immediately analyzed this phrase. So the phrase is interestingly constructed because uh, I see that we have ta -ta, minor second, then ta -ta, then three notes of the scale, and then again three notes of the scale, again the, the repeating, and for the third time repeating, but but with with the variation. Okay, now I already mm, found the way how to memorize it. So at first I will memorize this what happens before that repeated motif. So the, only this. So now I am trying to figure out some connections in my brain. First of all, the tonality. F major. So, because I have to remember that tomorrow, right? How it starts. So F major, um, and now we have the. Let's say the F major scale. Then I take the pencil and I write it down. F major scale, uh, going down. First two notes, then three notes, and down there we have the the third. All the time the same third. Now when I memorize it. I close the score just so that I don't look at it and enough. Sometimes when the piece is very com complicated, I do the same thing with the left hand. I do it with two hands just so that it's not only the fingers but Everything. Okay, when I know it, I play it also mentally. Pam, 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 pam. That's enough. And then we have the next motif. When I, I make a line here, then we have a next motif, which is something that is repeated. So, enough. That's only this one. And then, what do we have here? This is also, a, in, for me, a made. F major. Th 
first I look at the top voice. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is six notes of the scale, and I also learn it from by ear. That's enough. Now, what is down there? This is the seventh, and in, in, the, in the lower voice we have F, F, also the scale. So together I take two hands and I play. I also see that here we have the fourth, so we have uh, three voices, we have like a chord, F major chord without the third. So. try to remember what was the beginning. Scale, right? And then the second motif. One more time. One more time. I can do it with two hands. Now when I play this, I also immediately try to interpret, I try to make a music. Then what do we have? We have everything repeated. And the third, the same thing, but between, we have we have the G, so here we end, and then we have the octave going up, scale going up, D and A minor, very important, A minor, and this A minor is the beginning of the new phrase and the ending of the first phrase. So okay, now I know it all, I think, well, just to, to practice. Okay, one more time. Yes. So F major, then A minor. Okay, so again, I close the score and one more time. Memorized, okay? Memorized. Now, as we can see, the left hand here has all the time the same thing until it goes A minor. I can play it hands together already. Usually I'm not doing this. Usually I'm memorizing each hand separately first and then I am, or at least one page or two pages, and then I'm putting. But now let's try. Sorry. a little bit more times than this and uh, maybe I go Allegro Molto sorry one more time this is hard this I cannot play in this tempo now when I have this problem is really I check fingering Okay, now I see the problem. The, the fingering was wrong. Usually the fingering is... 
problems. When you, have, when you have some technical problems, first what you should try to check the fingering. But okay, let's go, let's go further. So okay, now we have A minor, and now what you have to do, I have to find a connection. This starts A minor, we have A minor, it starts from the fifth of A minor, I write it down, and then what do we have here? First I have to play. Only until this I have to memorize, because this is um, enough. Let's say enough. So it's, it starts from A minor. Um, one, two, three, four, four. Sorry. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Enough. So we, we can see it's a scale. We just have to know what scale is this. Of course, A minor. I can see that this is constructed uh, with um, four notes motif. Mm. And now one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. So now this I also play mentally. Dum, re, fa, mi, re, do, re, do, si, la, si, do, re, and I minor and the same. Re, fa, mi, re. And left hand, and then going up. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. From C and from E. Enough. Now I can play it, and I can play it both hands separately, hence both hands, because left hand plays the same thing. Let's do it slowly. Let's close the score and let's do it slowly. I have to check something because I forgot uh, to see how the left hand ends. So, as I said, usually I do it one hand only. Mm. Left hand. Okay, and then I want to. And then it ends on. second but since I'm not really doing it hand separately let's let's forget it don't do this now because that's I will do later my next lesson should be like this but A minor okay finished um, now when I do this usually what I do is I try from the beginning Okay, so I can play this. Let's com let's continue. Starting from G. Until this is something, because then we have the beginning, but uh, before, I mean, I, I can't play, I can't memorize such a long uh, phrase now, so I have to... Okay, until this one, maybe one, two, three, four, five, six bars. So what do we have here? We have like a like a trill. Two times G, down, two times G, down, and then we scale going up. 
enough. This one, I have to remember where we have octaves or we don't have octaves. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one. No octave. And one octave here. One more time. And now the variation. I have to find. And this is very important that instead of G, instead of the octave, we have the fourth, we have the D. And then what do we have? The same that we had, but... Here I can already see when I play from the score that I have to find the good fingering here, so... Okay, five. 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 I write it down also. And I try to play again from the beginning. I, I memorized it so. And now it was the variation, right? Uh, This is difficult. I have to memorize it. This is easy. But then we have the same pattern. The third and scale. The third and scale. The whole thing. Okay, so. Okay, I know this. I know everything. So almost the whole page I know from memory now. Let's continue a little. This is everything the same that it was here. Except here I have to circle this. Mm, the lower voice is not going down like it was at the beginning, but it stays on F and then we have the diminished A diminished chord on the on the fifth. So I write it down and I try to play it. Starting from here, we have something completely new. But before we have this, let's try to play from the beginning. I'm not sure if I can play it, and now I have to tell you something very important. Forgetting is a part of memorizing. We, to memorize something for good, we have to forget it a few times. We have to forget it, and we can forget it, of course, I can leave it, I mean, I can go farther, I can leave it for tomorrow, but tomorrow probably I wouldn't be able to play it, so I have to re relearn it. It will be faster, of course, but uh, then it is deeper in the memory. But uh, to memorize it faster, you can artificially forget. You can push yourself to forget something, force yourself to forget something. For example, now, I'm not sure if I can play everything. But if I forget something, I deeply try very hard to, to remember what it was. And this is the process of memorizing. I hope it is clear. So let's, let's do this.
but I'm not sure if it was correct, so I have to check a few things. This, especially this. Yes, it was good. But now here. And up. This was good. And now. Yeah, here I, I played one note extra, which is not good. So, I know it. I must say I know it. So the whole page, one page, I more or less, I don't know what's the time and how long it took us, but I think not bad. And uh, left hand is very easy here, but I'm not doing left hand le yet. Let's continue a little bit because now it gets a little bit more complicated. Um, so you can see how I do it when it gets more complicated. So this is our starting point because we finished here. A diminished on seventh. First I play it, of course. Okay, until here, this is enough. Complicated thing, so we have to cut it into small parts and memorize each of them and then put it together. So... Here we have chords, so these chords we have to analyze. A may finished, B flat minor, I write it down always, B flat minor, then, and then A, A flat major. Pa, 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 pa. Two times. This, this is a B flat, B flat major without the third, for me. I'm only talking about the right hand. Now, if you uh, if you know the piece, you tell me probably what are you talking about? This is not B flat major because we have in the left hand we have something else. Yes, we do have something else in the left hand, but I don't care because it is not helpful for me to memorize. So I'm memorizing only, I mean, I'm using these connections in my brain like B flat major just for the uh, reason of memorizing. Later I forget it, but I will already be able to play it. That's my idea. So B flat minor, A flat, and this is very important. So and now this. Until here it's enough because this is a variation. So A flat major, A flat major, B minor, the same. And now here we have the little variation of the first thing. So one more time without looking at the score. note was wrong. I have to remember that it's the fifth. So one more time. Um, ta, ta, ta. The fifth. Yes, and now usually what I'm doing also, especially in these parts when they are very complicated, I close the keyboard and I play imagining all the keys. B flat minor, A flat, A flat, the fourth, B, B minor, A flat, A flat, da, 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 the variation, da, 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 and the fifth at the end. Okay, finished. Now, the next. So starting from the fifth now, look at this. This is A flat major, of course. And this is B minor without third. So, I think until here I should memorize, until C minor here. So, A flat major, B.
to what was that? I forgot, you see? What was that? Mm, A flat major. I didn't make enough connections. B flat minor. Uh, I forgot. I have to check. Ah, octaves. The broken octaves. This is what I forgot. I write here in the score broken octaves first. This is a connection in the brain. Octaves. And now I have to remember that this is a fifth down. Fifth down. So, and this octave. I have to make another connection with. Let's say it's an A flat major starting from the fifth, going five, six, seven, eight. Two times the fifth. And then we have the C minor. Okay, I think I can play it now. So. It's done. Starting from the beginning. And now what? We ah, fifth. What was that? I forgot, you see? Now it starts. Ah, yes, I, it was an A flat major, you see, and now I am putting this deeper to my memory. So it was. I didn't look at the score. Okay, I can play it. Let's do it again. It's more difficult as you can see. Now, this is as the same motif, two times C minor, and then D minor and D diminished. The same. And the fifth as well. Okay, so this is the same that we had before, but in minor, in a little bit uh, higher. So C, D minor. Yes. Just the end. The end is different. So one more time. From the beginning. From, from the beginning? Well, let's try from the beginning. Why not? Let's have fun. One more time. As you can see, I close my eyes because it, it is easy for me to imagine what is written and also the keyboard, the keys. Going up and and octave. Da, 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 da. the beginning. No, here I remember that the lower voice didn't go down. So 
C minor the same. Yes. So it, it with a little small mistakes, which are immediately uh, should be, of course, mm, corrected. I can play this until here, and now. Uh, well, soon we finish because as you can see my concentration is getting lower and lower so usually I take a little break um, probably we are here more than half an hour already but usually half an hour to 40 minutes memorizing in one go is the maximum then you a little bit should um, stop and then continue uh, but anyway let's finish this so easy my friends that with this we memorize in one second literally because this is just then chromatically we have to already know when we finish we finish on E so um, finished then we have B my B diminished and what else that's enough so that's the second theme I suppose um, so quite a nice piece actually but a very long one okay so uh, the idea is now up to you um, what I am doing I'm usually not playing hands together too early I try to force myself to practice the whole piece to memorize the whole piece one hand then the second hand I know you tell me it's madness uh, but it works for me. Uh, I learned the one hand, I play it musically, I play it in tempo, uh, of course another hand also in the meantime I'm memorizing also to tempo and then when I, I'm free with those two hands then I put them together and it's much easier to do. Um, but of course it, uh, you need a patience for that. But then you have all the details done, everything is done and now well, I, I wonder if you manage to follow me with this memorizing or uh, don't worry if you uh, didn't, absolutely, because uh, if you do it for the first time, it will be much slower. Uh, my, I remember my first time was much slower. Now I have a lot of experience, so I really do it, as you could see, fast. Um, so that's how I'm memorizing and um, I'm... Uh, kind of guessing what composer tried to do anyway the, the i'm also willing to help with memorizing i have uh, some students two students with whom i'm actually memorizing I'm, I'm giving them these things and and practicing with them like the like the, the lessons are memorizing simply um, because um, it's not so easy to do at the beginning so um, it's easy to do i mean these lessons are easy also to do online for the internet like skype so that's um uh, that's very useful actually so anyway if you need if you have any questions or if you want me to do something more just please write me uh, in the comment uh, here under this video or a, a personal email to gnpiano at aol.com I always answer. I try to answer sometimes in a few days, but I do. Uh, thank you. I hope it was helpful and I mm, good luck with memorizing music. It's worth it because then you are free and you can play. Um, you can play, you can think like a composer. You know the piece like composer knew it when he composed it. Bye bye.